What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Edward Scissorhands. Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining us today. For this lesson, we'll need a sketch pad and a pencil. And I've chosen a 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick to start off our drawing. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. Starting from the very top of the middle. It's gonna lightly work our way down the center. Coming all the way down using these short lines. Let's move back to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. Now we'll be using these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of a page to define the size of the head. So from the center point, let's move up to right about here. Mark off the top of our circle. Now we're going to measure this distance from the center down towards the bottom and do the same thing. And then we'll repeat that across those horizontal lines. So measuring the distance from the center over towards the left and then the right side. Now we want to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. So let's start with the top left. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We're just using this as a guide. We'll probably come back and erase most of this out after. Let's go to the side of our circle, draw another line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now if you imagine that this is the eye line where the eyes would sit, and we turn the head up, this line will actually curve around the circle. So we're going to connect the ends with a slight curve going up the middle, round this out, and come down towards the right. Now you want to create a gap in between the eyes. So from that center line, let's move over towards the left, right about here. Come all the way down towards the bottom of our circle. Let's measure that distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now with our guidelines in place, let's start blocking out the main facial features. Now I want to start with the eyes. From this point, we're going to step over. It's going to angle the eye going up and then out toward that top line. Curl the eyelid going out and then down toward the side of the head. Right about there. Now along the top, we're going to draw a circle coming down toward that center line for the outside of the iris. We're just tucking this up underneath the eyelid. Now we're going to go back to that inside point and curve the bridge of the nose. We're going to go up and out toward the top of the brow. And then bend this out and then down, just along the outside of the eyes. Let's go back to the corner of the eyes. We're going to add a fold coming down and out on either side. Now I want to locate the tip of the nose. So because we're turning the head up, it's going to push the nose up a little bit higher. So right about here, draw a straight line going across. Connect the ends with a half circle going up and then back down. From the bottom of the nose, we're going to step down. It's going to curve the mouth going out and then down on both sides. Then we're going to come back and add some shape to the lips. Let's start right in the middle with a V. Bend this out and then down on either side. Now the lip along the bottom is quite narrow, so we're just going to curve this down and then back up. From the bottom of the lip, we're going to step all the way down towards the chin. So right here, it's going to mark this off. Straight line going across. Now I'm going to connect the outside of our circle down towards the chin with a straight line. Coming down and in to right about there. I want to define the width of the chin. Let's add a little bit more shape to the jaw. Starting back on the left side, angle this down and in towards the jaw. Just gonna line this up with the mouth and then angle this back in towards the chin. Let's go back to the jaw. It's gonna angle the neck, coming down and out towards the shoulders. Slope the shoulders, coming down and then out. Now we're gonna go back to the side of the head and draw in the ears. We're gonna move out from the circle, come straight down. Angle this back down and then in. Now along the top of our circle, it's going to draw the edge of the hairline. It's going to curve this across and then down. From the outside of the hairline, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the ears. Now we want to block in the basic shape and the volume of the hair. So let's start from the bottom of the ears, come down and out, go out and up. On the right side, we're just going to curl this down and out, go up and then out around the ear. Now I'm going to build up the size of the hair, going up. Now I'm just going to pull this in towards the middle to right about there, coming down and out towards the right, and then down towards the bottom. 
Now that we have a rough sketch in place, I'm going to go back and clean this up by erasing some of these guidelines. Now that we clean up our drawing, we're going to use this rough sketch as a guide to help us layer on some more details and refine the shapes. Now I always like to start back at the eyes. Let's start with the left. Let's bring this in towards the tear duct. Round out the eyes. And then come down the side. I'm just going to add a fold on the ends, coming out. Now from the eye, we're just going to work our way out, just adding some more details. So just adding that fold across the top. And I'm just going to reposition the iris and pupil. Just add that fold underneath the eyes. Now I'm going to move over and do the same thing on the right. Just redefining the shape. Then adding that fold on top. And we're just roughing this in at this stage. We don't need to get too detailed with this. I'm just going to pull the bridge of the nose up and then in a little bit closer. Run out of that point and come down along the side. Now we want to add some more detail to the nose, starting in the middle, just rounding that out, going up towards the nostrils. I'm going to go back and add some highlights inside the eye. So adding a little bit of a square across the top left. And then a small circle on the right side. I'm just going to darken up the inside of the iris and pupil going around those highlights. I'm just going to rough this in. Make sure that the position of the eyes are correct. I'm actually going to bring the mouth down a little bit lower. So in the center, I'm just going to pull this down towards a point across and then down toward the side. And I'm just going to lower that upper lip and blend that out toward the side. And I'm just going to lightly shade in the upper lip. Let's move down and draw on the lower lip and lightly shade that in with these vertical lines. Now we want to add a little bit more shape to the head, starting with the chin. I'm just going to add a fold along the side. I'm just going to bring the jawline in a little bit closer. While we're here, I'm just going to add some lines for the scars going across the face. So starting across the mouth, and then the chin area. I'm just going to rough in some hair coming down across the face on the left side, just crossing the eye. Just going to bring some strands going across and then down the side. Just going to add some folds across the side of the collar, coming down towards the shoulders, and just going to blend that out. And there's those rings across the collar, so I'm just going to start by adding these little rough circles going around. And a couple folds in the middle. And now with the hair, I'm just going to use this area that we created as the volume. So we're just going to stay within that area. And just add these curls and these new strands of hair coming around. And just working our way around, we can modify the shape if we need to, just adding some more curls and points along the outside. I want 
go back and do one final cleanup before we add more detail and shading. And now I'm going to switch to a thicker pencil to add our detail. This is a 0.9 millimeter. And again, just going back to the eyes, just adding a little bit more shape and definition. I'm also going to add a lot more contrast to the eyes. I'm just going to layer those scars across our mouth. Also adding the texture of the lower lip across the bottom. I want to leave a little bit of a highlight across the top. I'm just going to add some thickness to that scar. Now from here I'm just going to rough the detail of the hair and I don't need to get too specific with this. I just want to get the right shape and direction. And along the side it's going to bring the hair across the top of the ears. With the hair, we're just going to work our way around the perimeter, just focusing on the silhouette and not so much with the fill inside. I just want to make sure that we're capturing the right shape and volume. I'm just going to do one final cleanup. And once we finish tracing out all our contours, I'm going to start adding my shadows. So I'm going to switch to a two millimeter pencil. I'm going to use the flat edge. Let's start by adding some more detailed shadow inside the face and then working our way out. So along the top of the brow, I'm going to darken that up and then fade that down towards the eyelids. Now this is just the base layer of shadows and we can come back and add some more contrast after. Add a little bit of darkness underneath the eyes, coming in. Do the same thing across the right side. I'm also going to place some shadows across the bottom of the nose. And with the light source, we're going to place the light along the top of our character coming down. So the shadows are sitting along the bottom edge with the highlights across the top. And this nose is going to cast a shadow coming down. So I'm just going to lighten that up. And then with the cheekbones, the cheeks are also going to cast a shadow across the jaw. And we'll 
के जाते हैं I'm just going to roughly go in and add a shade to the inside of the hair. I'm also going to darken up the collar and shoulder area. And again, we're just roughing this in, not getting too detailed with this. Now I'm going to add a second level of shading. So we're just going to darken up the area around the face, inside the hair, and just fade that out. Also darken up the back side of the hair. Go back and just clean up our contrast. Now, again, near the end, I'm just going to tighten up my shadows in detail and always be sure to sign my artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Edward Scissorhands. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos each week where I'll show you how to draw different characters just like this. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you again soon.